there, and welcome to another episode of Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers being reviewed, but to the reviewer myself. I'm Jesse, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing a beer that I've never had before out of Fort Collins, Colorado. This is the Chocolate Stout from the Fort Collins Brewery. Now, while I've never had um, anything from the Fort Collins Brewery, I have had um, about five beers from... New Belgium. They just launched here about three or four months ago in North Florida, and they too are out of Fort Collins, Colorado. So I did a review on their Accumulation White IPA a few days ago, and um, uh, most of the beers that I've had from them are, are pretty good. So hopefully, Fort Collins is pumping out a lot of good beers, and um, the Fort Collins Brewery certainly won't disappoint. Stouts are one of my favorite styles, so I am excited about trying this beer. Beer Advocate gives this a 79, which is just okay, and that's with 723 ratings. Rate Beer gives this a 76 overall, with a 57 in the style, and the bros have not rated this beer yet. The ABV is 5.3%, and it has a rotating availability. Here's a quick descript from um, RateBeer.com. It says, Chocolate malt and roasted barley provide the dark color and full body of a chocolate stout. Toasty accents and hoppy dryness add to this smooth brew. An old-time favorite you'll remember. So, hopefully this beer certainly won't disappoint. Let me read this quick descript uh, from the bottom here, or uh, from the bottle here, sorry. It says, um, a velvety smooth mouthfeel and impeccable flavor make this stout positively seductive. Subtle hot bitterness evens out the character of roasted barley and chocolate malt in our proven classic. So, I haven't really looked up any info on this brewery. I don't know how long they've been around, but proven classic, I mean, it sounds like this beer has been um, satisfying uh, the thirsty crowds for, you know, years now. Um, let's go ahead and get this poured. Well, a little bit of smoke coming out. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, it was kind of, kind of hard to see, but I can see it from here. Try to give this a, a little bit of an aggressive pour. Um, eh, moderate, I'd say about a one finger head there. Let's see. This is pretty dark, uh, not quite black, very, very dark brown, mucky, um, can see a little bit of light through it, getting some red tinges around, I mean, looks to be kind of thin, um, you know, for a stout, but hey, it's got about a, uh, got about a pinky, about a one finger, um, tan, I'd say it's pretty nicely tan head. Um, a little less creamy, a little more frothy. It doesn't look that impressive, and it is, um, it is diminishing pretty quickly. So let's go on ahead and get a nose on this. Roasty malts right up front, very roasty, slight, um, slightly burnt, very slightly. Wouldn't say smoky at all, just pretty roasty. Um, coffee, chocolate. Little bit of caramel. Um, not really picking up on any hot presence in this at all. It smells sweet though. A little bit of coconut. A little bit of like a dark fruit, like um, of figs or, or plums or raisins or something. Pretty average for a stout, I'd say. Nothing's really jumping out about this beer and making me think that it's unique. It's pretty average for a stout from the smell. Now, you know the flavor might be might blow my mind. So, let's go ahead and uh, jump into this one. Very subtle. Not really any sweetness on the flavor. Up front, those roasted malts. Coffee. Chocolate. A little bit of caramel. Burnt. Slightly bitter, and then it just kind of, over the back of the palate, just smooths out. Not really any hot presence in this beer. I'd say in that sense it's slightly unbalanced. It is a little bit watery, very light mouthfeel, but overall not a bad beer. I mean, a pretty good dessert beer. Um, eh, just okay. I mean, I wouldn't give this a, uh, I wouldn't give this a great rating, but, um, 
it's pretty good. It, it is a little light though on the mouthfeel. A little more carbonated than it looks though. It doesn't. I'm not seeing really seeing couple streams of bubbles coming up there but for the most part I'm not seeing tons of bubbles and it is it is a lot it, it, you know I can feel the carbonation in my mouth more more so than what I'm seeing so um, very light mouth feel for a stout that doesn't really impress me much um, kind of disappoints me really but kind of watery on the mouth feel but eh. Again, very simple. Excuse me, this complex is about the farthest. I mean, that word is about the farthest. It's, it's so far away from describing this beer. It's so simple. At the front, roasted malts, coffee, chocolate, a little bit of caramel, really roasty, slightly bitter, and that's really it. That's it. I'm smelling a sweetness on the nose. I mean, it smells delicious, to be perfectly honest. When I smell that, excuse me, it smells really good. I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting coconut. I'm getting dark fruits. I'm getting maybe a little bit of brown sugar. Maybe, I mean, just, just a little bit of cinnamon. Just really, it smells sweet. It smells more complex than it tastes. And then you taste it, and you get those kind of burnt, dark, roasty malts up front. And that's it. Really light mouthfeel and nothing else. So this beer is not that impressive to me. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. I'm going to give a 6 out of 10 to Fort Collins, or yeah, the Fort Collins Brewery Chocolate. There's Chocolate Stout. Hopefully they do some other beers. I'll, if I see them, I'll pick them up because um, one beer isn't enough to assess an entire brewery. So if I see some other beers from the Fort Collins Brewery, I'll pick them up, I'll try them, but this beer is not impressing me. So a 6 out of 10 again for Fort Collins Chocolate Stout. It's very simple. Yeah, very light. Does not coat the tongue well. The only the only aftertaste I'm really picking up on is burnt, that burnt roastiness with nothing else. There's no sweetness in the flavor. There's no hop character. I'm not tasting any of those spices or those those kind of sweet, fruity flavors that I'm smelling. I'm smelling the dark fruits. I mean, I can smell it. I can smell it. Smells delicious. Again, I mean, I can smell the dark fruits. I can smell. Um, the vanilla and the chocolate, or the, the I mean the cho I can taste the chocolate and the kind of the malt, but I mean I can, I can smell the the vanilla and the coconut and the, um, kind of a little bit of brown sugar and the you know I can I can smell all that you know and and it smells great, um and then you taste it and you get the the chocolate and the caramel up front. And then just, you know, it's really burnt, really roasty, and that's it. That's that's all that's there. So this is a boring beer. There's not really anything good about it. So again, if you see it, don't even bother picking it up. There are about a billion stouts out there that are way better than this. So again, 6 out of 10 for um, Fort Collins Chocolate Stout. Thank you for watching, and post.